Wow, wow, wow. Nintendo just did something so amazing for people who want to get into Xenoblade. And people who got into Xenoblade thanks to Xenoblade 2 and Xenoblade 3. So the Nintendo Switch makes the best console to play all of the Xenoblade games in as of March 2025. I think it's March 3, March 30th. I don't know. Um, don't have the date clear in my head right now. But as of March next year, the Nintendo console is the best console to play Xenoblade because we got Xenoblade 1, we got Xenoblade 2, we got their DLCs, we got Xenoblade 3, and now we'll be able to play Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now as you can see, I have the Wii U version, I do have a Wii U, and I don't plan on selling it, I like the console. but. I am interested on why they did this. Of course, there's people who want to play it, but certain scenes on the trailer, if you notice, there's characters that didn't show up on the originals in Xenoblade Chronicles X. And then that gets me thinking, are they preparing something for a possible sequel? If it is, that's the reason. I am very excited. It, for those who don't know, spoiler alert. All right, you muted? All right, good. And the ending of Xenoblade Chronicles X, it left an open ending where this is where humanity's new home is gonna be, where they just have to be in this planet now. But they also, like, gave you like an idea that this area is alive and if you play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, if you beaten it, you kind of get an idea what they mean. I wonder if they're going to expand into that and also, who's this new character? How is he going to influence on the team, the current characters, Emma and all that? And I just hope they do some fixing because that this game there is some stuff that needs to be updated on the map on how you progress on getting mechs on how you do missions and whatnot and i think correct me if i'm wrong but the gameplay itself the combat is all right but i never fully fleshed it out i just stick to one thing and one team and that was it i was so focused on getting different types of mix painting it exploring the world and that's about it and there were certain characters that i could not level up because they were tied to a different side quest and at some point i just wanted to get over the game just to see what's the main thing like what's happening what is the team gonna do what is the cast gonna do and now i'm just with the new addition and the quality of life updates they're gonna do maybe in the future uh upcoming trailers of xenoblade chronicles x definitive edition we'll get some answers or more questions that will flesh the story out you know or make a possible hint for a sequel because i do Agree, this game is good. The weakest story-wise, but the game is good. I don't know, but I am so excited for the people who wanted this. Also, the multiplayer stuff, I never got to do because work, life, and after a while, I just... After I beat the game, there were some missions where there was very high level and I did not want to grind. I wonder if they're going to add more to that. That would be really, really cool. But yeah, I just want to say a few things, because this is so good for the Xenoblade fandom. I hope you guys pick this up, and if they emphasize more stuff on Xenoblade Chronicles X, could they be thinking of a new 
Xenoblade Chronicles 2, maybe with the same... I don't think it's with the same cast, but maybe in the same... I don't know, theme? Is what is the theme of X? That's one thing I need to remember. I don't have that clear, because it's been... Seven years since I played this? I probably will give a screenshot of my last time I played. I think I could do that on the Wii U. But I don't remember much of the story. I do remember there were some twists and turns. But the story did not grab me. Hopefully, they do better this time. And hope a lot of people get interested in it. In it that we get a possible sequel. Because this is like a spin-off of sorts, but the Xenoblade universe is huge. The Xeno universe is huge. But I'm very excited for anything Monolith Soft touches. Even though some of them their games are kinda weird, like Project Cross Zone. But nonetheless they're a good developing team. Anyway, thoughts, opinions, questions guys? Let me know in the comment section. No spoilers on Xenoblade Chronicles X if you played it. Alright? I know I mentioned it here and there, and I gave a spoiler alert. Just don't don't spoil it. The fun or any story-wise, even if you didn't enjoy, enjoy it. But yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Be civil. Be courteous. And let the hype for this game take over. Are you gonna get this? I'm thinking of maybe I'm gonna get this if they do more stuff like I do a future connected thing for Xenoblade Chronicles X. I might get it. I might double dip and I'll have this game on both consoles. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great next day of your night, morning, afternoon, whenever you see this. And until the next video, take care.